Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 15 for learning management system in Django with React JS. In our previous video, in our 14 video, we have created the course detail page. Okay, so if you go to the home page and when you click on the first uh, first uh, first thumbnail or first title, then you will redirect on the course detail page. Okay, so currently I have applied this only for the first the uh, when we will make this dynamic then we will uh, then it will apply for all okay so when we click on this course uh, course title page it will show the course detail okay now i'm going to create the in this video i'm going to create the student login and student registration page so if the student is logged in then he can uh, play the video he can uh, see the video else uh, here uh, we will show the login link okay so let's start to do this so we need to modify the header first then we will move further okay so i will uh, i'm going to create the uh, here we will create I'm, i will create user folder okay so i will create in the components i will create user folder and in the user i will create login.js okay and in login.js what i will do i will just copy this uh, import and i will create the functional component okay so this is login and then this will be and i will export this export default login okay and then i will create i will return here the div uh, let's say h3 student login okay later we will set this up and uh, this is student login now let's create the register page so this will be register.js okay and i'll copy this thing into here and i'll say register and this will be register so student register okay and in the header what i will do <coughs> We don't need this about us uh, about us link. It, uh, this is uh, I have put this because of just I want to show the demo that how the dynamic pages how the routing is working. Okay, so here we have a home courses teacher, and here we have another link that will be my account, or you can say user login. Okay, and then we will say user register. Okay, later we will set this up that how we uh, how we want to show we will see that okay currently let's uh, work on this link so this will be what it will be uh, we will define the link here define link here and define here also and this will be user login so this will be two and we need to define user login user login and here we have to define user register user register okay so user login and user register now let's open the let's open our main.js and here we will define our route that is our login route and another is register okay and here we will define yes you are right user login and user register user register okay let's import this two component okay let's import this two component so import login from slash and we will say user and then we will go to login so login okay so here you can see that uh, VS code showing us the suggestions that what you want to load. Okay, so this is the power of a v, uh, VS code. Okay, so uh, user login and here we will update here we will get the register. Okay, so we all settled up I think. Now let's refresh the page here. So it is saying cannot read property path name. So this is path and where it is header. Okay, we need to define two. 
okay so here we are now when we click on this user login here you can see that when we click on this user register here you can see that now let's go to login section here and what i will do i will copy any of the template so that our consistency uh, becomes same okay so i will say container and whatever we have okay so we need container first div class name container okay then we need row okay and then we will see here I, I will create this login as a card okay i'll show you that what i want okay and the first thing that is login user login okay and the name is name is card header okay and another another thing let's go to let's open our div class card body and then we will define the uh, form here okay so let's see when you click on this user login here you have okay so we have this card header and what it is showing actually this is not okay we don't need this actually we need this container but we need this uh, add as a column because we don't want to show as a full width so what I will do call MD let's say call 8 and offset 2 so what it will do it will take the space of column 8 I, I hope I have explained you the grid system if not then please go to the official website of bootstrap 5 and uh, you can check the grid system so this will take the uh, column 8 space and this will skip the two columns from left okay so skip so 2 and then this 8 and another uh, 2 is already left because we are covering just space of 8 okay so this is 8 and we will finish this after this uh, card okay we will wrap this card into a 8 column space so what it will look like so here you can see that we need more compact so i will do three here okay now i will uh, define some margin from top so margin top let's say four so this is user login and uh, let's define h5 not h3 okay now i have i will define the i will define the form okay let's go to okay leave the leave that uh, documentation of the bootstrap i will define the form as a class in class sorry table table bordered and tr and the th the first one is username okay and the td and that is our input type equal to text okay so this will look like this and i will define class form control so this is table table bordered something is something is wrong here so class name is table table bordered so why it is showing this kind of thing table bordered let's go to get bootstrap and see the documentation of uh, see the syntax of table let's see the syntax of table so this is table okay and let's go here we have class table and if we want to add the border then we have something like this thing the table border so i am doing right things so why this is uh, input type text class name form control this is card body and uh, i'm doing nothing more and anything let's define this 8 into let's add some space here uh, but it is not working let's define this td td 
and TD. This is why I don't understand this. Okay, let's uh, leave this as it is. We will see this later. That why the designing is not coming properly. I don't understand this concept, but uh, let's let's see this later. Okay, so we have username and password. Here we have username and password, but uh, this is table, table border, card body, and card handle. Let's leave this class. What it will give? It will give us simple table and table things. Let's leave this table border class. What it will give? This class. Okay. Let's remove this. Okay, if I will talk about this form, let's check. Let's uh, let's copy this form. Let's not use the table. Let's copy this form because table structuring is not showing as desired. I want. Okay. So we have div, we have form. Now let's go to he look over here. Actually, we need to find and replace the class name. Class name. Uh oh, we do this. We need to do this. Now this is fine. Okay. So. And we have to close all the inputs because it is showing error. Now this is fine. Okay, so the first thing is it should be username, not email. Okay, so we don't need this thing, and we also don't need this uh, email help and. Uh, email into password all right everything is fine so username password check me out let's say remember me remember me so we will do this functionality later okay so and one thing more login so this is fine so this is our user login page and I know that we have uh, we have messed up the uh, we had messed up the, our table with something uh, okay no problem we have now now we have created this uh, fine now let's copy this and paste it in our register page and here we will do the register okay and we will also copy this here fine and we need to set up set these things so first of all we need this uh, this is full name okay and let's say we have this is uh, for this is email username password is as it is and after the password we will also ask for qualifications or you can say uh, you can say interest interest okay so here we will take the interest that in which uh, in which course he wants to add in which course he is interested okay we will show that let's go to user full name email username password interest okay and uh, this will be the user register and let's uh, let's let's make this text area text area okay class equal to form control now this is fine okay here we will add interest like uh, i will say php I will say Python, I will say JavaScript. Okay, so these things will be interest. Okay, 
so uh, and we can also do this uh, thing we can add the div help here so that user can type let's say php python javascript etc okay so we have created this uh, and we don't need this remember we don't need this remember button and here it will be registered okay so this is our user register page this is our user login page so after user logged in he can actually <coughs> he can actually see the courses video he can actually see the uh, uh, he can actually play the video okay and uh, uh, one thing that uh, we forgot to add in this course video we also need to add the duration okay so let's add the duration in the course detail page open our course detail page and we will add the duration so this will be i will just say uh, this will be float end so what i will do i will create a span okay span tag and in this span tag i will add this button okay this will be here and i will add this float end class in the span tag and this should be class name let's remove all of this because i will copy this one okay and here we will also need one more thing that is duration and we will say actually uh, we should create this in a table but no problem so this will be one 30 minutes okay and i will add margin left or margin right margin end from let's say three okay so this is our duration one hour 30 minutes let's say one hour one hour 30 minutes okay so this is fine let's say duration is five okay so this is our uh, topic and then uh, we have a uh, duration and then we have other things okay let's copy this Paste, 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 and paste. So we have this courses video. If user is logged in, then we will show this icon. Else, when user click on this, it will automatically redirect it to user login page. Okay. Uh, so in this video, I just want. I uh, in this video we have created the user login. We have modified the user detail page. Okay. We have created the user register also. So in our next video, we will uh, create the user dashboard and uh, we will see that uh, how many options user should have and uh, we will explore that. Okay. Then later we will go to the teacher panel. Okay. And after the all of the design, we will of course uh, back to our API. Okay. And we will connect that. Okay. So I hope you are enjoying this series. If you have any question, any query, then please add in the comment box. And please like this video, share this video, and subscribe this channel. Okay. And if you are really learning, enjoying from this uh, channel, then please support me via PayPal and uh, via Razor Pay. Okay. You can follow me on GitHub, Instagram, Facebook. So, <clears throat> thank you so much for watching this video. Okay. So, see you next time. Thank you so much.